Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications on future uploads. Hello everyone, Simon Bart here, or you can call me Sully. Well, I've seen a new movie out in theaters, and I gotta say, if you thought the first one was crazy, you haven't seen anything yet with this sequel. So, believe it or not, I like it. But for why? You'll soon see. Now it's time to go over the newest film from DreamWorks Animation, and it's a sequel to one of my favorite movies from 2017. It's one that has the same energy, humor, and feel of the original, but has crazier ideas and more colorful and fun looks. The Boss Baby Family Business, based on the books by Marla Frazzi. The story follows Tim Templeton, who grew up to become a stay-at-home dad, having two girls, Tabitha and Tina, and still having an active imagination. Yet his eldest daughter, Tabitha, wants to grow up and be like Tim's brother, her uncle Ted Templeton, who grew up to be a rich boss of his own. But one night, Tim finds out that his baby daughter, Tina, is from Baby Corps and has, unknowingly to Tim, brought Ted over to his home as Tina wants the brothers to become young again in order to sneak into the Acorn Center. A school where Tabitha goes to and is run by a principal named Armstrong, who lives by the idea of kids no longer needing parents, yet is keeping something secret. So by using a formula that has Tim and Ted be young for 48 hours, the brothers went to the Acorn Center to find out what Armstrong's really up to, while Tim discovers more about his daughter and brother while being a kid. Director Tim McGrath has made a sequel to The Boss Baby that's more crazy and colorful than the last film, with good characters, a fine story, and fun animation. I do like the first movie enough to get past the elements that are questionable, and I really had a fun time with it. This sequel is likely the same, but even more so with a great and fun look, more colorful visuals, more crazy ideas and gags, and it all taking place around Christmas. The complaints I have are very minor, mostly with casting Jeff Goldblum as Armstrong, as I get more David Cross based on the character design, as he should have voiced him. Outside of that, I enjoy this film for how insane it is, and in a good way, and I'll definitely be seeing it again soon. I could say it's better than the first film, but that may be stretching it. But until I can be sure, I did have a good time with seeing this flick. So today I'm giving this movie a rating of 3 stars. And that is it. So thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Support me on Patreon. Until next time, for a new video.